Hello, hello, hello. Real quick, I just want to share something really quick with you guys. How you guys are doing? Hello, 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 hello. Hello, thank you guys for joining me. I'm not going to keep y'all long. I just want to share some words of encouragement and just just kind of speak life a little bit um, into some circumstances and, and break some things down real, real, real quick. Hello, 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 hello. <clears throat> I am Coach Delacroix Isom. I just coming on real quick. I'm not gonna be on here long at all. Y'all know I say it real, real quick and keep keep it moving. So it's gonna be the same thing tonight. I'm gonna say it real quick and keep it moving. Um, hi, hi, hi. So, um, I just posted something on Facebook. Not, hello, hello, Curtis. Hey, hey, hey. Um. I just posted something on Facebook and um, it was something that I used to always ask God when I was going through my healing. God, why me? Why do I got to go through so much? You know, if y'all read the books, y'all know I was molested, raped, went through a lot of domestic violence and just a lot of emotional abuse, you know, and so. It wasn't a one-time occurrence. You know, things were happening repeatedly over and over again. And so, somebody inboxed me and they said, you wouldn't believe at age 15, I was he, that this person was saying that he asked God the same thing. And God said, why not you? And so, that was the same response that I got. Why not you? And to tell me that it was all necessary for what he was doing in my life. And so, I remember... Um, when I was in my early 20s and my pastor at the time, my late pastor, y'all would hear me. Hey, 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 Mr. Glover. Um, but y'all would hear me or see me post about him from time to time. Mention some of the things, you know, dreams that I've had about him and how he comes to me and reveal things to me. And even just, you know, growing up in that season in the ministry with him, he used to always pull me aside. It always tell me your life is a setup for what God wants to do in you in doing you. And at this time, he didn't know the ins and outs of my life. He didn't know about the molestation. He didn't know about the rape. But he used to always pull me aside and say, your life is a setup for what God wants to do in your life. And so when when I began to heal and when I began to share. He said it made sense on why he used to always say that to me because he said he didn't even know why he would say it to me. He just knew that the spirit would tag him to say it, it pull on him to tell me. And so I want to encourage you that no matter what you are going through, no matter what you have been through, it does not disqualify you for the purpose that God has on your life. You have to tap in. And connect vibrationally to what the spirit wants to do in your life. And you have to learn how to forgive first and foremost. You have to learn how to forgive. That is the first principle. In being able to move forward. Being able to walk in your greatness. You have to learn how to forgive. Because when you do not forgive, you're holding yourself captive. You're holding yourself in bondage from the things that God has predestined for your life. So it is a mandate on your life to forgive and to walk in that forgiveness, to exercise it. Now, you'll also hear me say, you can forgive, but don't be stupid either. And so you don't have to allow access once you forgive. You don't have to have that person that continues to hurt you in your life front row seats of your life. You have to move in wisdom. So I just simply want to encourage you all that you are not disqualified from your purpose because of the pain that you've had to endure, because of some of the bad choices that you made. That doesn't disqualify you. See, your purpose was in you before you even came out of the womb. So there was nothing that tainted your purpose. God had already placed it there. So no situation, circumstance, or person 
has anything to do with the purpose that God intended for your life. So we have to get over things. We have to let things go. We have to shake those things off and move with intention with what the spirit wants to do with you and through you. So that's my time, y'all. I'm done. You know, I'm short, quick, simple, and you know, game got to get long-winded. But always know that there is greatness on the inside of you and there is purpose on your life. Tap in and greatness. I holla. You know it. Auntie got you.